On this video, I am going to show you how to solve one-step equations. In this example, we have x minus 5 is equal to negative 1. So my step, the first thing that I need to do is to isolate my variable. What do I mean by that? Well, basically, you need to leave the variable alone. So whatever number that is in the side where my variable is, it is automatically an intruder. So in order for you to cancel that intruder, you need to do inverse operation. As this number is subtracting my variable, the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So I am going to add five here, and whatever happens in this side of the equation, also needs to happen in the other side of the equation. So I'll do positive five here as well. Now I am ready to cancel this out. So I have X is equals to, remember that when two integers have different signs, you need to subtract them and keep the sign of the greatest absolute value. So in this case, my answer will be positive four because five minus one is four and the greatest absolute value is positive five. So this is my final answer. Now let's take a look at this example. So I have z plus 3 half is equals to half. Remember, you need to isolate your variable. So in this case, this intruder is adding. So the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So I'll subtract 3 half here and also in the other side of the equation as well. So now you're ready to cancel these out. So I have z is equals to, remember, different signs I am going to subtract and keep the sign of the greatest absolute value. So as they have the same denominators, I do not have to find the least common denominator. I just need to subtract their numerators and keep the same denominator. 3 minus 1 is 2, but in this case it will be negative 2 because negative 3 half has the greatest absolute value. Denominator stays the same. So as you know, you cannot leave it this as your final answer. You need to simplify. So negative 2 divided by 2, it is negative 1. So your final answer is z is equals to negative 1. Now I would like you to pause the video and try to do this example by yourself. Very good. So you do remember that you need to isolate your variable. If you forgot, it's totally fine. Remember, in order for you to cancel this intruder that is in the side where my variable is, it's not changing the signs. No, it's doing the inverse operation. What's inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So I will add 3 and 5 tenths here, okay? And I will also add 3 and 5 tenths here. So now I'm ready to cancel this out, and now I have P alone. That was my goal, okay? Different signs, I subtract. But when I'm subtracting, especially decimal numbers, I need to have the greatest number on top. So I will have 3 and 5 tenths right on top, minus 1 and 3 tenths. Now you're ready to subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. Bring down the decimal point, And 3 minus 1 is 2. In this case, my final answer will be positive 2 and 2 tenths because 3 and 5 tenths has the greatest absolute value and is positive. So this will be your final answer. All right. So let's take a look at this example. So now we have x out of 3 is equals to negative 6. 
Remember, our goal is to isolate my variable. In this case, the three shouldn't be on this side, okay? So, the three is dividing my variable. And what's the inverse operation of division? Yep. Is multiplication. So I am going to multiply. Remember that this is another way to show multiplication with a big dot right in the middle. Multiply by three in this side of the equation. And whatever happens in this side also need to be reflected in the other side of the equation. So I'll do multiply by three again in this other side. So now I'm ready to cancel this out. Okay, and it will be x is equals to negative 6 times 3. Remember that when we are multiplying and they have different signs, my final answer is negative. So negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. So that's it. That's my final answer. Let's take a look at this other equation. As you can see, our variable is in the other side of the equation and it's totally fine. Please do not freak out, all right? So our intruder in this case is negative four. You do remember, for example, if I have three M, which means three times M. So that's what negative four is doing in here, is multiplying our variable. So what's the inverse operation of multiplication? Yes, it's division. So I am going to divide by negative four because that's my intruder. I am not going to divide by positive 4 because my intruder is negative, all right? So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. Whatever happens in this side of the equation also needs to be reflected in the other side of the equation. So I'll divide by negative 4 in this other side. Now I'm ready to cancel this out, okay? And I have y alone, which was my main goal, to isolate my variable. Now I'm going to do this division. Let me do it here so you have I have enough space for you to take a look at it. So remember that the denominator should go outside and the numerator inside of my fraction bar, okay? 4 fits into 18, actually 4 times, because 4 times 4 is 16. 18 minus 16, you already know that is 2, but I cannot have a remainder. So I am going to put the invisible decimal point that is at the end of every whole number, and then I'm going to put my decimal point right on top. Now I'm ready to bring down one of my infinite zeros that I have at my disposal here. So I'm going to bring it down. You see, I just bring this down, this zero that you have here. Four fits into 25 times because four times five is 20. So now I have zero. As I am dividing and they have different signs, my final answer must be negative. So it's negative 4 and 5 tenths. That's my final answer. In this type of equation, we have two different approaches. So it's up to you if you want to do the first method or the second method. So let me show you the first one. In order for you to cancel this intruder, you could multiply by the reciprocal. What's the reciprocal? So if I have 2, 6, the reciprocal will be 6 out of 2 because you just need to change the order. Instead of the 6 being the denominator, it becomes a numerator, and the numerator becomes a denominator. Let's see another example. So if I have half, the reciprocal of half is 2 out of 1. All right, so I am going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is negative 9 out of 5. 
Remember that whatever happens in this side of the equation also needs to be reflected in the other side of the equation. So I'm going to multiply times negative 9 out of 5. Now you're ready to cancel this out because you will get a 1, all right? So it will be m is equals to. Remember that when you're multiplying a whole number by a fraction, you need to add the invisible one as a denominator. As this is multiplication, you do not need to find the least common denominator because you will multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So let's do the multiplication right here. 25 times 9. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 2. In this case, I am multiplying fractions with different signs. So my answer will be negative. Negative 225 out of 5 because 1 times 5 is 5. As you already know, this cannot be your final answer. You need to do the division. Denominator goes outside, numerator goes inside. Five fits into 22 four times because five times four is 20. So 22 minus 20 is equals to two. Now you need to bring down these five. Five fits into 25 five times. 25 minus 25 is zero. So my final answer will be negative 45 because I am dividing a negative number by a positive number. So my final answer is negative 45. That is the first way that you can solve this example. Let me show you a second way. The second way that you can solve this equation is by isolating the variable by getting rid of the intruders one at a time. So I am going to get rid of the nine that is dividing. Inverse operation of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply times nine here. Whatever happens in this side of the equation needs to be reflected in the other side of the equation. So I'll do times nine here again. So I can cancel these out. So it will be negative 5m is equals to 25 times 9. We already know that is 225. But I still have negative 5 in the side where my variable is. As negative 5 is multiplying my variable, the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I will divide by negative 5 here and also in the other side, negative 5. Now I'm ready to cancel this out. I have m alone, which was my goal, and I need to divide 225 divided by 5, and it will be negative 45. As you can see, we got the same answer, but just by using a different method. So you choose if you want to isolate your variable by multiplying by the reciprocal, or if you want to get rid of each one of the intruder, each one of them at a time. So it's up to you. Whatever you feel more comfortable with, stick to that.